Welcome back to Amur Regal FM, Amur Regal FM. The time is 12.49. In case you're watching the um, the para, Paralympics in Rio, we have our own, own Kadina Cox. In case you're watching it, a young black girl. Yes, disability is nothing. To me, it's a little bit, um, this is my own thinking, but you know, you cannot just undo things that people have been doing for decades or maybe perhaps a century. You cannot just undo that. But to me, 
this so-called Paralympics shouldn't even take place. To me, this is my own opinion. The Paralympics, they should blend them with the the normal Olympics and let the disabled people or less able people uh, compete with the so-called able people. It makes no difference to me. To me, it's discriminatory, but at the same time, it's to give, um, let's say, uh, people of so-called equal powers to compete. I can understand that as well, but to me it's a little bit discriminatory. Anyway, in saying so, Kadina Cox, our own British black, young black girl, disabled black girl, she's smashed it. She's done it. And that's why any other young person out there listening or your parents listening, do please push your children into sports, arts, and, you know, renovational subjects because Kadina she smashed the um, world record she claims gold and smashes the world record in Rio because this girl has won the 500 meters trail and um She's also beaten the world record, and this hasn't happened, and she took two goals already as we speak. Young girl, young black girl, and um, this hasn't happened. This record hasn't been broken by a British person in the Paralympics since 1988. So take that. So big up Kadina Cox, our own Kadina Cox, all young black girls out there. Yes, you can do it. Don't let anyone make you believe that you can't do it. You can do it. You can do it. Anything you want to do in life, anybody you want to be, you can be it. Yes. And those people, taking people for gods or taking people for kings or taking people for supreme beings, all that's fake. It's false. We all came to this world the same way. We're all going to return back to our creator the same way. Yes, no man is bigger than the next man. God has favored people, his favor. And like Yusindu said there, Allah Lumbolo, Bulko Foye, Danila Kodenka, even Yalasa, God, when God gives you anything, whether it's wisdom, knowledge, wealth, health, power, Whatever God gives you, the flakodenka, he lend it to you, he pass it to you. It's you, the guardian, you look after it. It's not even yours. It's not even yours. And that's why whether you are rich or poor, God loves you. God created us. In his image, per se. So therefore, let no man make you believe they are better than you or they got more vision than you. What you need to maybe do is to try and be close to God. Any man can be close to God or try to know your God, who God is. Once you know who God is, no man can fool you. You see all those people stripping themselves in bombs and go blowing people around simply because they've been indoctrinated or brainwashed by Mr. X or Mr. Y. It's because those people, their lack of understanding their lack of understanding of the religion they're representing, of their lack of understanding of the scriptures of the, by the books they're reading or the, the scriptures of the religion they're following. If you do understand that, first of all, if God has created every man equal in his image and God loves us all and that's why he's given us the, 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 the life this life to live in and enjoy was available to us. We are here on a journey. Everything that God gives you, you're going to go and leave it here. See? So therefore, there's no need to big ourselves up. I'm better than X, Y, Z, or I'm doing better than. Yeah, God gave you. God, God has, you know, handed you. You know, they, he has kind of deposited something in your account for you 
to share around with people. Yes, politics. We live politics, we breed politics, we sleep politics, we talk politics, we do politics, we eat politics. Everything that we say or do earn it's it's got some 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 drop of politics in it, and some people will tell you, "Oh, I'm not interested. It's not my problem. I'm not political. I'm not into politics. I'm not a politician." You have to get involved in politics because politics, politics makes you who you are. Because if you don't vote, the votes those elected their decisions will affect you one way or the other. So therefore, politics affects you. And um, recently, we have seen a registration of um, a new political party in the Gambia. And once again, this has brought so many, I'm not going to say controversies or divisions or separations, or antagonism, or but it has kind of um. But I think at the end of the day, that's the power of democracy and the power of opinions. Yes, the power of opinions and the power of democracy. But given the time scale or given the circumstances on the ground in the Gambia I think elections are a little bit a little bit scary because the person in power Yaya Jame Yaya Jame said it clearly that Ballot votes will not get him out of power. If you want to, if you want to have his chair, you're gonna to have to do what he has done to be in power. Meaning, you have to come through power, through military coup, or through force. But we had um, Isa Tuture, who recently has emerged as an independent candidate, and this has brought lots of controversies. Lots of people are supporting her. Uh, feminist feminist um, activists, even non-feminist act- activists, are supporting her. I know some so many men who are supporting. But me, my problem is I I respect their opinions and everything, but I don't support I don't support any political party. What I support at the moment is a n- no election. That's what I support until I'm not saying there shouldn't be no elections. But until Lawyer Dabo is freed, because anybody who's soliciting or anybody who's fighting to go for elections or campaigning for elections, you are uh, uh, campaigning or you are fighting for the wrong cause. The first cause that you should be fighting is to get Lawyer Dabo retried and his core and also punish those people who killed Solo Sanding, and prior to the killing of Solo Sanding, Jame should also step down and seed and le- leave the, the, the seed to another um, APRC member. Then we can talk about the elections in December. But any candidate coming up, and you not talking about the rule of law first, you not talking about justice first, What's the point? It means you, before you, st- it's like a baby. As I said earlier, before a baby starts running, that baby needs to first start crawling, you know, and then start walking slowly, slowly, then run. But you cannot just run for elections. Hence, people have been, people are still being arrested, killed. So you, 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 you think you, you, you're going for democracy and you want to give chance to democracy? What kind of democracy is that? Hmm? You're listening to Straight Talk on Sunday 
Onom Rogel FM is exactly one o'clock in London City. Temperature now rising to 26 degrees.